Uh, look at Romans chapter one real quick. There's a whole bunch of stuff going on going around right now about uh, about hell, and about uh, whether all, everybody's going to be saved and is right to have a have a God that puts people in hell and that kind of stuff. And and you know, frankly, this idea that it's the it's Augustinian theology, uh, which is basically uh, paganism. And they say, well, it's the, the God of the torture chamber, the eternal torture chamber. You don't torture people when you punish them. Torture is when you unjustly inflict pain upon people. God never inflicts pain on anybody unjustly. He's the God of the, all, all the earth. He does right. Chapter 2 of Romans, verse number, number 2, it says, uh, we're assured that the judgment of God is according to truth. It's not, God is not unjust in what he does. But you need to understand what it is, the pun what it is, the wrath, what the wrath of God really is. The wrath of God is not just hell. The wrath of God is not just fire in the lake of fire. The wrath of God is not just tort. The wrath of God is something far more devastating than that. Romans chapter one verse eighteen: For the wrath of God is revealed from heaven against all ungodliness and unrighteousness of men who hold the truth in unrighteousness. Now you read on down through that passage, you'll never see anything about hell. But you know what you read about? Verse 24, wherefore God also did what? Gave them up. You know what hell is? It's to be godless. You want to make hell out of your life? Don't have God in it. Verse 26, for this cause God gave them up. He did what he do? He gave them up to their own desires, their own the consequences of their own choices. Verse 28. And even as they did not like to retain God in their knowledge, God gave them over to a reprobate mind. He let them have what they chose to have. Matthew chapter 25, Jesus says, Depart from me, ye cursed. You know what the curse is? Depart. Be separated from God. That's the wrath of God.